Now to a shameful scene that's played out in Michigan emergency rooms for years. Children in a psychiatric crisis waiting days or weeks for treatment because no hospital will accept them. But tonight, there are signs that things could be changing for the better. Seven investigator Ross Jones has been shining light on his problem for the last seven years and has more tonight on new efforts to attempt to fix it. There is no medical system prepared for these children. It's like archaic the way that they're treated. For years, we have told you the stories of the children turned away by Michigan psychiatric hospitals. It's a type of discrimination. We can't help you because you have too many needs for us. They were either too sick for private hospitals to treat or the only state hospital that could was full. Since 2015 at the Hawthorne Center, the only state-run psych hospital for children the number of staffed beds has been frozen in time at 55, even though it could treat twice as many. As our stories showed, it was not unusual for families to wait two, three, or four weeks in hospital ERs just for a spot to open up. The state has failed my son. Back in November, as children like seven-year-old Manny Griffith languished in ERs, we asked Governor Whitmer why she wasn't doing something to treat more kids. Why have you not asked for more funding for the Hawthorne Center to treat more kids today? You know, we'll have to follow up with you on that specific reference. I'll have to um, get a little more information so I can give you a more thoughtful response. But fast forward three months later. Let's talk about mental health. In Governor Whitmer's new budget announced tomorrow, she will call for a significant increase in the number of children treated at Hawthorne Center, from 55 beds today to 80, an increase of almost 50 percent. The extra... 25 beds will be welcome. Mark Reinstein is a longtime mental health advocate who for years was CEO of the Mental Health Association in Michigan. He applauds Whitmer's new budget, saying that the pandemic's effect on children and an infusion of federal COVID relief dollars helped lead to the proposed increase. I think the public reading about and seeing on videotape kids languishing in emergency rooms is very powerful. If approved by the legislature, the 80 beds would mark the most kids treated at Hawthorne in well more than a decade. In a statement, Governor Whitmer said access to reliable, affordable psychiatric treatment is critical to the health and well-being of Michiganders and our communities. We have to expand inpatient mental health facilities and improve the services we provide. Our aim is to treat kids in their homes and their communities. But when that fails, and it does fail at times, um, we do need beds that are available. Whitmer's budget is also calling to build a new facility to replace the aging Hawthorne Center and the Walter Ruther Hospital, which treats adults. Mark Reinstein knows that this alone won't come close to filling all the holes in the state's mental health system, but it is progress that's sorely needed. I've learned that government is never going to do everything that could and should be done at one time. This is an incremental step. It's a positive one. And there are encouraging signs tonight that the governor's proposal will be embraced by GOP lawmakers. Representative Mary Whiteford, a Republican from St. Clair County, tells me those new beds can't come fast enough. From the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Well, at least that's progress for our children who need it most. We do, and mm -hmm. they do.